Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay, everybody, remember, okay, we have a little homework for today, and the homework is oral, is oral presentation, right? Just give me a second, I'm going to wear my headphones. Can you listen to can you listen to the music that I have here in my house? No? No, it's a no? Uh, can you listen to people talking in my house? No? Okay. No. Poor, no. My, my, poor my family. Sometimes, sometimes they are like very stressed because I am like, oh my God, there is a lot of noise and all that stuff, but no. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, today we have two, we have one oral presentation. Well, actually it's not an oral presentation, it's the homework, but it's a mini homework. But before we begin the mini homework, uh, do you remember yesterday we were working with imperative uh, for giving directions, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna show you some imperatives, but these imperatives are, um, these imperatives are very, very easy, okay? Um, they are everyday imperatives or imperatives that we can listen in our classes. For example, open your book. Which is the answer? Letter B. It is letter B. Let me see. Yes, it is letter B. What about the next one? Uh, Rosita, if you want, can you read please the, the imperative? Close your back. Letter C. Letter C. It is letter C. Very good. All right. What about the next one? Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. All right. Turn on the light. Letter B. What about the next one? Turn off the light. Letter, Letter, A. A. Letter A. Letter A. All right. What about the next one? Uh, well, Rosita, sorry. <laughs> Rosita is reading. Okay, Rosita, go ahead. Sit down. Letter, Letter, D. D. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. All right. What about the next one? Stand up. Letter C. Letter, Letter C. C. Letter C. Letter C, all right, very good. What about the next one? Open the window. It is letter B. It is letter B. B. It is letter B. B. It is letter B, very good. Letter B, letter B, letter B, letter B, all right. What about the next one? Close the door. Mm -hmm. Letter, D. Letter, D. Letter D, excellent. Okay, what about the next? Don't take photos. Letter, Letter, D. Letter, B. Letter, B. Letter B. Letter B, don't take photos. All right, what about the next one? Come here. Letter D. Letter D. Don't smoke. Letter C. Letter C. All right. Very good. What about the next one? Don't, Don't eat. eat. No. Yes. <laughs> I sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, Rosita, read it, please read it. Don't eat or drink here. 
Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Excellent. All right. What about the next one? Raise your hand. Sorry, sorry. I just, I just was, I was moving my laptop and yeah, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I, it was my mistake. Yeah, letter B. What about the next one? Don't run. It is letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. And what about the next one? Do you do your homework? Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Excellent. Very good. All right. Very easy. Okay. These imperatives are very, very easy. Imperatives, as you as you remember that I told you yesterday, imperatives are orders. Orders, orders. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, give me a moment. I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to show you another one. But this one is going to be longer. Let me see. With this one, everybody, with this one, eh, what I want you to do, we're gonna we're gonna work in mini groups. What I want you to do is, okay, eh, I will send you the link. And when I send you the link, you will see, you will see the exercise like this, like this. I need you to change the exercise. Pay attention to quiz. Quiz is here. So when you open the link, okay, I, eh, I will send the link in this moment. So when you open the link, you will have uh, the exercise like the way you see it. So you have to change it. You have to change it here where it says quiz. Change it to quiz mode. All right. Ooh. Sorry, give me a moment. Uh, you have to change it to quiz mode here. And you will see it like this. Okay. Can you open the link, you guys? Where's the chance? Yes, okay, yes. I need to know, I need to know who can help me today with the computers. Sharing the screen, who can help me? Who can help me today? Me, teacher. Me, ah, teacher. Okay. Jocelyn, me teacher. Jennifer, Jorge, Roberto. Me, too, teacher. Me, teacher. I, no, I don't have any, I, today in the morning, you know, I, I was not angry, but today in the morning, I know only two people could help me. And I was like, no. Yeah, because if you help me, I really appreciate it. If you if you can do it, because we can work in mini groups. Okay, so let me see. Mm, I'm gonna make, in this moment, I'm gonna make uh, four groups. Uh, Daniela, Beatriz, Daniel Isaac, Jorge Orlando, and Jennifer Reyes. You're going to be in room number one. Eh, Nancy Aguilar, Stephanie, Betsaida, and Roselena, you're going to be in room number two. Katia Nicole, Esmeralda, Daisy, and Cecia, you're going to be in room number three. Jocelyn, Yesenia, Katherine Suriano, and eh, Brenda Morales, you're going to be in room number four. And Flor, but I, I don't know if Flor is, is driving in this moment. Uh, Meli, Naomi, and Roberto are going to be in room number five, okay? Very good. So I'm going to give you five minutes to do to do this. It's, it is a short exercise. Okay.
read. Let yeah. us see. Okay. The next, please. Can you use flash? Letter A. Next, what what the dog? Little B. Close the window. Close the window. Uh -huh. What is the answer? Little C. Little C. Come here. Uh -huh. What is the answer? Little A. Little A. Next. Don't touch. Uh -huh. It's a little D. Little D. Dog will on the grass. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is the answer? Hey, hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay, the next. Pay attention. Okay. Little A. Little A. Don't talk. What do you think? Percy. Little C. Little C. Little C. Oh my God, you had only 11 correct. Okay. That is a strange. You didn't finish, mm -hmm. no. No. Yes, no. I didn't finish. Oh. It's the... Pero ahí dice 28. Ah, but it says time is up. Ah, okay. Eh, start again, Rosita, please. And select quiz. Uh -huh. Ah, it's because it has time. Try to remove the time. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can remove the time. Is it possible? No. No, it is not, not possible. Teacher. Ah, okay. Just let me let me let me check in the original one. Let me let me check. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna close the rooms. Okay, teacher. Katya Nicole is having problems with internet. All right, let, let's 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 check because I don't know what, what happens. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good, very good, everybody. Hey, I was I I was looking at the exercise with Rosita and the exercise finishes when you when you have it, it only has three minutes. Yeah. But let me check. Let's uh, edit content. Edit as uh, no. Let me see if we can edit this. Um, more. Uh, QR code and bookmark set assignment. Um, let me see the matchup. Uh, the matchup is the one that we have. Um, Flip tiles, flashcards, quiz, open the box. No, because everything has time. I don't know why. And if we do it like this, look, the pictures are very small. Yes or no? Can you see the picture? Yeah. 
Yes. Can you can you see the mini pictures? No. 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 Uh -huh. That's very, why. Very small. Uh -huh. It is very small. That, that's why I decided to make a quiz. But the problem is that I don't know why it has time. A timer. Look. I now know. Look, Rosita. It's very strange. Uh, let me see if I make it bigger. Uh -huh. Okay, try Rosita not to make it there and everybody try not to make it bigger. Let me see. I'm gonna refresh. And because for you in your group, Rosita, uh, you had three minutes and then it was two minutes fifty nine, two minutes fifty eight backwards, right? I don't know what happened. Let me see. Quiz one more time. Aha, uh -huh. one, two, three, and there is no problem. Okay, try not to make it small. Try, sorry, try not to make it big. Don't make it big. Only like, like, like this. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna try one more time. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Intentamos otra vez. Let's try one more time. All right, because I don't know what happened. Okay. Let's see. Um.
Okay, very good. Um, easy? Yes. Yes. Ahora sí pudieron. You could this time. No. No. No, no teacher. No teacher. Mm. Okay, but, but okay, but but uh, you understand the exercise, yes or no? You uh, you understand? You have clear the the imperatives, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, the last thing we're gonna practice right now before the mini homework uh, that are the questions, um, we're gonna practice a little bit about uh, prepositions, okay? Because remember that when you are giving directions. It is important to uh, practice with prepositions. So I'm going to give you the link. And we're going to practice. OK, very good. Can you open the link? Tell me. Tell me if you can open the link. Can you open the link? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So I'm going to give you some minutes so you can do this one, all right? Preposition. Next to the girl? Next to. Next to. Where is the dog? It is the dog's house. In front of. In front of. Where is the cat? It is um. on the table. Where is the squirrel? It is behind, behind. behind the twin. Where is the mouse? It is under. Under. Yeah. Where is the ball? It is the box. Next to? Next to. Next to. Where is the dog? It is the box. In front of. In front of. Where is the cat? It is in, in the box. In. in the box. Where is the rabbit? It is between. 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 Where is the cat? It is between, between. the dog. Mm -hmm. Where is the cat? It is in, in the, the box. Where is the dog? It is on. Um. On the cable. On the cable. Where is the TV? It is on. On the table. On the table. Where is 
Where is the elephant? It is next to next to next to the chair. Where is the ball? It is in the box. In the box. Where is the dog? It is under under the table. Okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. Excellent, Cecia's group, all right? I'm gonna close the rooms right now. Okay, good job, good job. All right, so right now, I'm gonna give you three or four minutes so you can practice your homework. Okay, because after the practice, I evaluate the homework, okay? Is it clear? Yes, okay, very good, nice. Remember that I, I didn't need a long answer, but not a short answer, okay? So I will give you four minutes so you can practice your homework. Uh, say the question you selected. Oh, I selected question number blah, da, 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 da. okay? Four minutes so you can practice, let's go. Uh, let's practice the homework. Mm -hmm.
Excellent. Very good. All right. Ready? <laughs> yes. Ready, ready, ready? Okay. Very good. Can I have volunteers? Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, homework number one. The homework. Homework number one. Evaluation. Okay, so can I have volunteers? Daniela Cañas. Ah, levanten la manita. Y voy a seguir ese orden. All right. Daniela, le deje la mano levantada. All right. Daniela, Daniela, Daniela. Ay, my son. Daniela Cañas. All right, very good. 69. Okay, so Daniela Cañas, you're going to be the first one. And then I'm looking at some people here. So, Daniela Cañas. Go ahead, Daniela Cañas. Good afternoon, teacher in class. I select the question number two. What is your favorite park? My favorite park is El Jardín Botanico. Would you like it? Because it is very, very fresh. It is big. There are animals. And my children like to feed the fish and the turtles. Where is your location? It is located in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Okay, very good. Daniela, I listened that you changed a little bit. Question number three, because question number three is where is it located? Uh, where? Where is it located? And you where said, is it located? Where is it? Located. Where and, is it located? Excellent. And you said, where is your location? Like if you were asking me. Uh huh. So be careful with that. But now nah, it was nice. Nice, okay, nice, teacher. nice, nice, Daniela. Very good. Uh, Melissa, you're going to be the next. Francis Donis Melissa. Okay. Francia. <laughs> Francia, sorry. <laughs> uh, teacher, I select. Uh... Uh, question number three, what is your favorite place to go shopping? My favorite place to go shopping is the shopping center. And why do you like it? I like it because the clothes, shoes, handbag, wallet are very cheap. Where is it located? It is located in San Salvador. Just that. Okay, very good, excellent, excellent, Melissa. Okay, uh, Katia Alvarenga, you're going to be the next. Okay, and good afternoon, teacher and classmate. I selecting question number six, which says, do you prefer living in a big city or a small town? Why? Well, I prefer living in a big city because it's better than living in a, a small town because you have more places to buy things for your personal living and you have more places to spend time, for example, a park or a mall. And I think this because um, years ago I lived in Las Cañas and now I live in Alta Vista. So it's a big difference. And that's my opinion. Thank you. Okay, Katia, excellent. Very good, Katia. Nice, nice, Katia. Excellent answer. Katherine, you're going to be the next. Katherine Suriano. Okay, teacher, I select the second number two. What's your favorite part? My favorite part is the Balboa. Mm, what do you like it? Because it has a lot of nature. It is very fresh. And also there are many places for the children. Uh, where is located? The park is located in Planes de Rendero or Renders Plan, San Salvador. Thank you. Okay, very good, Katherine. Excellent, excellent answer. Okay, excellent answer. Uh, children, Katherine. Children, no, children. Okay. David, you're going to be the next, David. David Amaya. Okay, teacher. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I selected question number two. What is your favorite park? My favorite park is Ecological Park in Santa Tecla. Why do you like it? Because you can walk there. It has 84 steps to go up and down. 
It has an area for your pets. It is cool with a pleasant uh, climate. Where is it located? In the San Jose Santa Tecla neighborhood. Okay, very good. Excellent, David. Nice climate. Okay. Oh, okay. Climate. Or you, uh -huh. or you can, or you can say weather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Oh, okay. Thank you, David. Jocelyn, you're going to be the next. Jocelyn, after Jocelyn, Brenda, then Rosita, and then now I have the four hands here. Okay, Jocelyn. Okay, good afternoon, teacher, and the, everyone. I select the question number three. What is your favorite place to shop in? My favorite place to shop is Plaza Mundo Sayapango. Why, why do you like it? I like it because uh, it has a lot of short store and is near, yes, near to my house. <laughs> Where it's located, it is located in Soyapango, San Salvador. Thank you. Excellent, very good, Jocelyn, amazing. You had an extra point yesterday, but you didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need it, all right, thank you. Thank Brenda, you. all right, you're welcome. You're gonna be the next Brenda. Brenda Morales. Okay, teacher, I selected uh, question number three. What is your favorite place to go shopping? My favorite, my favorite places to shop are Chinese stores and dollar cities. Why do you like it? I like it because it is very cheap and there are many interesting things. Where is it located? In my city, it's located in the center of Lourdes. Oh, Lourdes downtown. Lourdes downtown. Uh -huh. okay. Downtown means el centro de Lourdes, right? Lourdes downtown. Okay. Excellent, Brenda. Well, you also have an extra point, but you don't need it <laughs> because it was a nice answer. Excellent. Rosita Ordonez, you're going to be the next. Okay, teacher. Uh, good afternoon. I select uh, the question number six. Do you prefer living in a small town or a big city and why? In my opinion, I prefer to live in a small town, especially because everything is near. Uh, the market, the supermarket, and... Um, and the park also because there is a less noise uh, in comparison with a uh, big city and the people are very friendly too thank you okay very good excellent 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 nice we had some little little details little mistakes but they were like not so important okay great thank you naomi you're going to be the next Naomi Hernandez, okay? Good afternoon, teacher. I selected question number four. Uh, do you prefer living in a small town or a big city? I would like living in a small town because in my view, um, it's a quiet way of life and freedom with more nature around and everything is nearby and there is never traffic. Okay, very good, Naomi. Excellent, nice. Okay, now I have the next four. The next four people are Daniel, Beth Saida, Jennifer, and Aliana Paola, okay? So, Daniel, go ahead. Claros Mejia, right? I select question number three. Uh, what is your favorite place to go shopping? In my case, my favorite shopping is Cardor. I like because they are shirts, it's beautiful and it's cool. Uh, where is located? It is located in La Libertad. Okay, Daniel, very good. Thank you very much. We have some little details with some. Uh, we had some little e details with the order of some words, okay? But it was fine. Yeah, nice, Daniel. Excellent. Betsaida, you're going to be the next. Galea mm -hmm. Castillo, okay? Good afternoon, teacher and classmate. I select question number two. The first part of this question is, what is your favorite park? One of my favorite parts is Cuscatlan Park. 
Why do you like it? One of the reasons is because it's near of my university. So sometimes I go with my friends and we spend a good time. And also sometimes that I even you can see another thing that you can do. So I think that is a good part. And the last part of this question is where is located? It's located in the city of San Salvador, exactly in 25 South Avenue. And Frank in the Lana Roosevelt Mall, San Salvador. Excellent, Metsaida. Amazing. Excellent answer. Very good answer and nice pronunciation as well. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Jennifer, you're going to be the next. Jennifer Reyes. Hi, good afternoon, teacher. I'm selecting question number two. What is your favorite part? My favorite part is Cerro Verde. Why do you like? I like is because it's a beautiful place. It, it is big. The climate is cold. The food is delicious. And you can walk. Where is located? It's located in Santa Ana. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, so where where is it located? And you can say, I like it because. I like it because, okay? Nice, Jennifer. Some little details, but very good. Excellent. Excellent answer. Nice. Aliana Paola, you're going to be the next. Presa Portillo, okay? Yes. Hello, teacher and everyone. I selected the question number two. What is my favorite part? Why do you like it? And what is located? My favorite part is Park of Balboa. I like this part because it is big and beautiful. And it is located near of La Puerta del Diablo on Planet del Rendero. Okay, very good, excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent, Aliana Paula. Okay, the next four are Stephanie Marisol, Daisy Lopez, Nancy, and Jorge, okay? Go ahead. Stephanie Chico. Hi, what is your favorite part? Um, sorry, teacher, I chose question number two. Okay. And what is your favorite part? Uh, why do you like it? Where is located? Uh, my favorite part is Bicentenario. Uh, I like it because it, it has picnic areas and trails for hiking and cycling mm -hmm. and to go with friends and enjoy. Uh, where is located? It is located Avenue, Jerusalem, San Salvador. Oh, you can say Jerusalem Avenue. Uh huh. Jerusalem Avenue. And you say, I like it. I like it. I like Give me a moment. I like it because, all right? I like it. Like it. Like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, Stephanie. Nice. Chicas Franco. Ah, and you had an extra point yesterday. Okay. Excellent. Daisy, you're going to be the next. Hello, everyone. I select question number six. Do you prefer living in a small town or a big city? I prefer living in a small town. Why? Because it's quiet. Everyone knows you. Knows you and help you if you need it. Yeah, that's nice. And that's true, yes. And... The advantages, la ventajas, the advantages of living in a small town is that everybody knows you. Well, ventaja y de ventaja. Advantage yeah. is advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because imagine if you are if you are doing something that is not correct, they go and tell your mom or your dad, and I know that's terrible. <laughs> nice, Daisy. Yes. Very good. <laughs> okay, yes. Nancy, you're going to be the next. Thank you, Daisy. Hi, teacher. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you question number three. Uh, what is your favorite part? My favorite part is natural part, Cerro, Cerro Verde. We do you like it? Uh, I like because there is a cool where you can also go for wells. Uh, where is the look? Where is located? Uh, is it located in Santa Ana? Okay, very good, Nancy. A uh, favorite. Favorite. Okay. Uh -huh. Favorite. 
Excellent. And you can say like it. Favorite, like it. Okay. Very good, okay. Nancy. Thank you very much. Some little details with pronunciation, but nice. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Jorge, you're going to be the next. Right. After I choose oh, yeah, question yeah, Jorge. two. What is your favorite place? No. What is your favorite park? It's not a park, but it's a good place. It's the surf city. Why do you like it? I like because it's a nice place to take photos, walk on the beach, watch, watch the sea, go to the amusement park, or with something. For example, for example, no, it's a joke. <laughs> uh, that's all? Where is it located? It's located in La Libertad. All right, very good. So, Jorge, you said, I like, you said, uh, Surf City. I like because I like it. I like it because... And caminar, you don't say walk, you pronounce it walk, okay? Walk, the letter L is silent. You don't pronounce letter L. But it was nice, nice, Jorge, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the next four, Esmeralda, Cecia, Yesenia, and Flor, okay? Esmeralda Guevara, you're going to be the next. Good afternoon, teacher in class. I selected... Uh, question number two, what is your favorite part? My favorite part is Cuscatlan Park. We do you like it? I like it uh, because it is quite big. It has different business uh, to buy and you can do different activities. Where is, where is you look at it? 25 Avenida Sur, Franklin Delgado, Rosabend, uh, San, San Salvador. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Esmeralda, uh, ¿por qué in English you pronounce it uh, why? Why? Why do you like it, for example? Okay. Uh -huh. Why? Uh -huh. Excellent, okay. Esmeralda. Very good. Uh, did you listen to Esmeralda? Esmeralda was saying favorite. Very good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, Esmeralda. Eh, Cecia, you're going to be the next. Cecia Castaneda. Okay, sorry because it is dark here. And ah, good why, afternoon. Why, why is it dark? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Okay, good afternoon, teacher and classmate. I selected the question number four. What are three good things about living in your town or city? Well, I think that three good things about living in Santana City are number one, that there are many stores, so you always find what you are looking for. Number two, there are uh, a lot of trees, so here it is not like it is not such a hot place. And number three, uh, all the places are near, so like clinics, uh, police station, and laboratories. And thank you, that's all. Hey, amazing, Cecia, excellent. An amazing answer, very good. And if you listen, everybody, did you listen, Cecia, using very sophisticated vocabulary? Did you listen to Cecia using very difficult vocabulary? No, right? Or yes? I no, 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 no. Cecia's answer was very, very, very. I mean, the <laughs> vocabulary was easy, but she was speaking. Ah, yeah, da, 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 clinics and police stations, and yeah. So, ese es el propósito con las tareas así orales para que usted hable más. Okay. Thank you, Cecia. The next one is Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. I selected question number two. What did you favorite park? My favorite park is Balboa. And why do you like it? I like I like it because in that park there are many trees and the weather is very, very pleasant. And also I can enjoy with my family. What is where is the location? The park is located in Planes de Rendero, San Salvador City. 
Thank you very much. Excellent, Yancy. Amazing. Yeah, teacher. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Yesenia. I was I was very happy. Okay, thank you, Yesenia. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, Flor, you're going to be the next, and Roberto Carlos is going to be the last one. Es la última manita que tengo levantada. Roberto Carlos. Okay, Flor, go ahead. Flor, vaya a dar it. Yes. Good, good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. What is a uh, uh, question on a uh, well, one, two, three, or quarts? One, two, three, four, and four. Question four, uh huh. What are three good uh, things are books, your torture, door, or city? Uh, uh, wax, eh, wax las pupusas, eh, eh, tu, eh, tu par eh, ecológico, parque el ecológico, uh -huh. tricks es eh, el tris near eh, el tier sport, este, el sport es estar cerca del, del aeropuerto. Mir Tix Sport. Thank you. That's all? Okay, very good. Give me a moment. Give Thank me a you. Moment. Okay, Flor. Okay, thank you very much, Flor. Um, we have to practice boca, uh, I mean, how can I say, uh, pronunciation, right? En no Spanish, don't, uh, uh, don't translate. Uh -huh. For example, if you say parque ecológico, you can say ecological park. Ecological. Yes, or, or if you say yes. está cerca de la, del aeropuerto, the, it is uh, near, near the airport. Airport. Uh -huh. airport. Yes, near, near the, airport. the airport. Exactly. Okay, um, thank you. Thank you very much, Flor. All right. You. Uh, Roberto, you're going to be the next. So, okay. Uh, do you listen to me? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. So hi everyone, uh, class. Um, uh, I select the question six. Uh, do you prefer living in a small town or a big city? Why? I prefer to live to live in to live. a small live in a, in a small city uh, where there is not much noise or pollution, so I can feel pace completely. Uh, and the noise of cars stress, stress, stress me out. So there is more. I always prefer to lead to that in a small city. I had, I had pollution. Thank you for listening. You hate what? You hate uh, eh, las aglomeraciones. You hate crowded places. Yeah. Roberto? Odio. Ajá. O sea, I had. Hat. Hat? Sombrero? Hat? No, odio. Odio. Hate. Hate. Yeah. Hate. Ajá. So, you, you hate what? A crowded places. Pollution. I don't understand that. Contamination. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Pollution. Pollution, yeah. No, yo le había entendido otra cosa. <laughs> I have pollution. So you say, I hate pollution. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, yeah. so we have to work a little bit with pronunciation, a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Bessie, are you here? Bessie. Bessie? No? Bessie, 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 Bessie is not here. No sé si ella fue la que me escribió, pero ya voy a ver. All right. Excellent, everybody. Congratulations. ¿Se escucharon cómo estaban dando las respuestas? Did you listen to, did you listen to yourself? It was very nice. Very, very nice. Very fluent. I mean, it is, it is really nice. I, I am very happy. Very, very happy. Excellent. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, right now, just give me a moment, please. Um, we're gonna go to the to the platform, and practically everybody, we finished to a unit. Can you see the screen? 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Practically, practically we finished unit number one. Así que todavía no me les han asignado el curso nuevo, ¿verdad? Los que ya tenían cuenta. No, 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 no les han asignado no, todavía el dos. No. El tres, sorry. Ok. No, ok. Acuérdense que no es que les vayan a dar eh, usuario nuevo a los que ya estuvieron eh, antes sino que les van a asignar en su cuenta que ya tienen el básico 3. Y a los nuevos, sí, a ustedes les van a pedir correo para mandarles contraseña y un nombre de usuario para que puedan entrar a la plataforma, ¿ok? A los nuevos. Sería Katia, Meli, eh, MC Wells, eh, Betsaida, I think it's her name, Betsaida, Betsaida. Um, I can't see her. Yes, Betsaida. <laughs> and Daniel. Yes, and Daniel. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Yes, the Excellent. Yes, the Excellent. Well, so, cuando les asignen la plataforma, luz verde para trabajar toda la unidad uno, all unit number one. Okay? Now, in this moment, we're going to begin unit number two. Unit number two is celebration do you like do you like celebrating for example your birthday happy birthday to you do you yes. celebrate do you celebrate <laughs> birthday yes or no yes yes yeah yes yeah okay daniel do you celebrate your birthday yes <laughs> yes all right katia do you celebrate your birthday yes and you stephanie Yes. Yes. And you, Jennifer? Yes, teacher. And Jorge, do you celebrate your birthday? Yes. And Thor, do you celebrate your birthday? Lord, do you celebrate your birthday? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. <laughs> and Jocelyn? Yes, teacher. Yes. With What do you do? What do you do in your birthday? Do you drink? Do you eat? What do you do? In my case, in my last birthday, yes. Uh -huh. and my boyfriend is, how do you say, proponet? Your boyfriend pro proposed marriage. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Ay, that's nice, Jocelyn. Birthday number 29. Ay, that's nice. Yeah. Ay. <laughs> Maybe one day. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, what about you, Roberto? Do you celebrate your birthday? Ah, yes, no, sorry. Roberto had the, the hand. Like... Uh, uh, hi. Uh, no, I am not celebrating my beer. beer, beer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you say, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Si tú dices, uh, I, I am not, a, yo no soy celebro. Ajá, uh, so I, am, say, I am, I am, I don't, don't, I don't, celeb, I don't celeb, celeb. celebrate, <laughs> celebrate, celebrate my, my birthday, my birthday, no, no, my I, birthday, my birthday, <laughs> good. So you say, yeah, no, no, teacher, I don't celebrate my birthday. In yeah. my case, I don't celebrate my birthday. No. Oh, no. I get it. And next year, no. I no. <laughs> next year. Why? No. So, next year, I'm going to be 40. Can you imagine 40? I know. And what happened? I know. No, I have, I have a crisis. I have a crisis. <laughs> No, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I, next year, I'm going to be 40 years old. But I don't look like a woman of 40 no. years old. And I don't feel, you know, me siento. <laughs> and I don't. And that's good. Yeah, I don't feel like a woman of 40 years old. 40. Now, Ricardo Arjona can say, Señora de las Cuatro Décadas to me next year. <laughs> so, you're eating yeah. your, your years? Sorry, Katia? You're eating your three, two years. Uh, some people say uh -huh, because I don't I don't look like, like 40. Yeah, because in my case, I eat 
a healthy food. I drink a lot of water. I don't have a stress, like a, a lot of stress. Like, for example, I have a problem with my boyfriend. No, no, no. Um, and I do exercise. I hmm. do exercise every day, every day. Before the class, I go to the gym. I come to my house, I take a shower, and then I get ready for my class. Uh -huh. So that is something good, guys. Mm -hmm. It is something good. So um, celebrations are very nice, are very nice, and people are happy. So I'm going to show you in this moment a video with vocabulary. Okay, so pay attention. My God, my parrot is crazy. Okay, so I'm going to play the video. Okay, so I'm going to play the video and watch the vocabulary, all right? This is something very easy. It is vocabulary. So you can take notes. Let's learn family celebration in common activities vocabulary. Look at the pictures for references, listen, and repeat. Birthday. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Day of the Dead. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Music Festival Carnival Valentine's Day Easter Graduation Day How many of these words are new for you? Remember, write them down, look for the meaning of these words, and practice by creating sentences. Okay, very good. I'm going to replay. Let's learn family celebration in common activities vocabulary. Look at the pictures for references, listen, and repeat. Day of the Dead Christmas Eve, Christmas Day New Year's Eve, New Year's Day
Music Festival. Carnival. Valentine's Day. How many of these words are new for you? Remember, write them down, look for the meaning of these words, and practice by creating sentences. Okay, very good, excellent. So, are, are all the holidays familiar for you? Yes, uh, is the vocabulary familiar for you or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, it is not difficult, right? It is not difficult. Well, before I continue, everybody, I'm going to take the pictures, the picture, all right? So please, your cameras, your cameras, your cameras. Aha, let me see. So class, today is class number three, all right? <gasps> That's nice. Class number three. So I will copy the link. The link. The here. Today is class number three. And today is September 20th, 2023. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to take the picture. Esmeralda and Roberto, turn your cameras on. Okay. So one. Two and three. Excellent. Okay, so we have only one picture. Only one picture. All right. Very good. Let me see. Pegar here. And that's it. So tomorrow it's it's a new picture. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give you right now a little exercise to talk about celebrations. All right. Celebrations. Um What's your favorite holiday? Holiday is Dia Feriado. What's your favorite holiday? Do you have a favorite holiday? Christmas. Holiday, everybody. The, uh, this, the meaning of holiday is uh, Dia Feriado. All right. So do you have a favorite holiday? Christmas. Okay. Mother's, uh -huh. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. You're right. Very good. Etc. Well, okay. Teacher, sure. all the same. Ah, nuevo año. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Right? New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm, it's like teacher. Ah, Teacher's Day. Yes, I didn't receive any present. <laughs> but I have received presents from others, other people in different days. Okay, now uh, pay attention to this exercise, every day, everybody. We're going to do the same. I'm going to send the link and you will change it to quiz. Change it to quiz. Espero que no tenga tiempo este. All right, change it to quiz. When I give you the, the, the link, you change it to quiz, okay? So give me a moment. I will send the link. You have to read the definition and you have to select the holiday. All right, read the definition and select the holiday. Give me a moment. Okay. Can you, can you open the link? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Very good. Yes, teacher. Very good. So let's go. I'm going to give you some minutes. Read the definitions and guess.
as a love for your country. Uh, Let it be Independence Day. Good. The next. It is an ideal occasion to give thanks and share a moment with the family accompanied by a pancake. Mm -hmm. What is, what do you think it is a celebration? Little A, Thanksgiving Day. The time, giving day. Okay. It, it is a particularly romantic day where lovers look for ways to show their love. <clears throat> okay. The next is it's a special day to celebrate the person who way you like, feel it right, kisses and hugs. Little A, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next. Uh, you must be careful in this celebration of, or you could be the victim of a prank. Hmm. What is the celebration? It's letter D. April Fools. April Fools. Yeah. April Fools. Yes. Okay. Perfect occasion to celebrate the person who is always by your side, supporting you. What is the celebration? It is there a Father's Day? Father's Day? Yay! Only one. Bye. <laughs> You had only one incorrect. Yes, teacher. Ah. It is an equivo um equivo a equivo a mistake. A equivocation. A mistake. A mistake. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You can say we had one mistake. All right. Okay. We had, yes. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go back in a moment. Okay, did you finish? Yes. yes. Easy or yes. difficult? Easy. 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 All Easy. right, very good. Now, I'm going to go to the platform because we have the last couple of exercises we have to do. So here we have uh, some celebrations, family celebrations, and I would like you to help. Number one, number two, and number three. Pay attention to the pictures. One, two, and three. So number one, what is the celebration? Tell me. A wedding, a graduation party, or a birthday party? Wedding. A wedding. 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 Mm, very good, a wedding. Okay, what about this one, number two? There is, a, there is a microphone with a television behind. Maybe you can close the microphone for, thank you, thank you. Okay, what about number two? What is number two? Pay attention. Number two, what is the celebration? Birthday party. Birthday party. Birthday party. Birthday party. 
Okay, you don't say birthday. You say birthday. Birthday party. Birthday, birthday party. party. Huh? What about number three? What's the celebration? Number three. Graduation party. Graduation party. Graduation. party. Graduation. Listen. Graduation. All right. Graduation. Graduation. All right. What about the next one? Number four. What is the celebration with number four? Baby shower. Baby, Baby shower. shower. Baby, shower. Baby, shower. Baby shower. Baby shower. All right. What about number five? Five. You have a house and food on the table. All right. So what is, the, what is the celebration? Thanksgiving. Oh, but look at the look at the option here. Retirement. Oh, oh. Okay. Retirement is jubilación, jubilarse. Housewarming. La bienvenida a una casa en baby shower. Housewarming. Pay attention. Number five. Housewarming. 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 What about number six? What is the celebration in number six? Retirement. 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 But mire que nice, verdad? They are celebrating and he is ignored. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is a crazy thing. All right, let me see. Okay, what about number seven? Ooh. What is number seven? Wedding, wedding, wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary or engagement. Un compromiso. Engagement. 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 Very good. Excellent. What about number eleven? And number sorry. Number number eight. What about number eight? Wedding anniversary. Wedding, wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. What about number nine? Pay attention to number nine. Family reunion. Family reunion. Family reunion. Family reunion. Okay. Yay! Very good. Very easy. Very easy. Now, um. Do you like do you like going to wedding? I never go to a wedding. Ah, Katia, you have you have never gone to a wedding? Nunca nunca sido a una boda? No, my sister's never wedding, so <laughs> No, 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 but but maybe maybe not from maybe not from your family but but from another person. No. Ah, never. okay, never. What about a birthday? Do you sell it? Yeah, you said yes. Uh, baby showers? Have you ever gone to a baby shower? Yes, for my big sister. Okay, very good. And what about the others? Anido, have you ever gone to a baby shower? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. The boys, no, because I think baby showers are only for women. And well, in this in these days, women and men no problem uh, i mean mm, we have the two okay excellent we have here a um, great job let's continue so we continue with the next one the next one are festivities and this is going to be the last activity okay i'm going to um esto no lo van a poder mover okay lo que ustedes van a hacer es dibujar una flechita o con un lápiz ahí eh, lo vamos a marcar Okay, you're going to match the definition with the special day, okay? All right, very good. So, let's see, got it? Have the picture? Yes? Okay, I'm gonna give you some minutes, let's go.
¿Está lloviendo, Alessandro? Okay, very good. Well, now listen. Tomorrow, tomorrow we check the answer, okay? Tomorrow we check the answer. Para mañana van a tener una mini tareita. Esta no va a ser evaluada, pero sí quiero que la preparen como lo hicieron ahora. My favorite holiday is ta 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 because ta ta ta. My favorite holiday is Mother's Day. My favorite holiday is Father's Day. My favorite holiday is. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Okay. Very yes. good. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.